Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I have got a couple of things to talk about today. So first up, let's talk about Madame Glam's new sale. I've had several people already get a hold of me asking me if I knew about it because evidently somebody has already posted about it and maybe got the dates wrong. But anyway, the dates for the 50% off with Madame Glam is going to be the 21st and 22nd. You'll get 50% off um, discount, like uh, if you are a VIP. I believe everything is going to be available in the sale. You do have to order at least three items to be eligible to get 50% off. And the code to use is guileen 50 mar And I'll put that right across here. There will also be a link in my description box that will take you straight there. So as soon as you're done watching the video, you can just go down there, click that link, and go boop, 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 and go check it out. Um, I do not earn a commission from Adam Glam. Um, it just saves you 50% uh, off, and I think that's awesome that they're doing that. Well, when they contacted me about it, they said, hey, um, give us some ideas about how you recycle um, or reuse Madame Glam bottles. Um, with the base coat and top coats, actually I keep two bottles so that one bottle is going to be used for glitter, contaminated stuff, you know. So I'm if I'm encapsulating glitter, I know that I'm not contaminating a fresh bottle. And when that bottle is empty, I do sometimes pour a little bit more into that bottle, the glitter, so that I'm not constantly using, um, so that I can keep, you know, straight. And I also put acetone in them sometimes and use them to clean brushes. Just stick the brush in there and let it sit and let it um, soak all the gel out of it so that I can reuse that bottle. Anyway, I do reuse these too. These little uh, pots from the pudding gel are really nice, especially the first, like, six they came out with. I loved because... You can take them out and it's already clean and you don't have to do anything and you can reuse that. And I do make a lot of custom mixes for clients. So they'll come in and they'll give me a picture and maybe I don't have exactly that color, but I can always pretty much always mix something to make it look pretty much exactly that. But let's take a quick look at this chrome. I was so excited when I saw this, but okay, time out. Madam Glam. We want gold and rose gold. Um, most importantly, we want rose gold. We've got several different golds, although like a really just like this, not too yellow a gold. This chrome would be so perfect. But rose gold, okay? Rose gold. Uh, but look, this stuff is so cool. Let's check it out. And I wanted to see the other gel paints will stamp. So I want to see if this will stamp, and that's just what I'm going to do today. But look at it, it's so cool. Uh, it's like melted liquid silver. <laughs> so cool. Um, I will do a little bit more in depth with this um, coming up, but right now we're just going to do this real quick and see if it stamps. And absolutely, give me suggestions down below. Does anybody else, how do you, how would you use, reuse bottles? All right, so I am just going to put a little bit of this on a stamp and plate. This plate is Vintage Grunge 01 from Hit the Bottle. Uh, you do have to cure this pretty good. You don't want thick when you're using this. You don't want it thick at all because it won't cure because it's so pigmented. But I am going to be careful that I get it in all these cracks. Cracks. I don't know. It's called a design, Guileen. In the image. <laughs> And then I am going to scrape that pretty good. Ooh, wow. That actually picked up really good. Mm. 
and it stamps. Oh, so pretty. Um, this is a no wipe, so you don't have to wipe it and you don't have to top coat it. Now, people ask me all the time, can you stamp with regular gel polish? Regular gel polish, just like, no. You can't, it doesn't, it doesn't usually work. You can try it, um, but this stuff is super thick, so it does stamp and it is a great just gel art. Um, and you see, there's still some on the stamper. The image is still there, so I could, you know, use it again. Here, we'll just go ahead and stick it on a finger. I'm not going to cure it, I'll just wipe it off. So pretty. But I just usually dab off on a paper towel. And then you can just clean the plate with alcohol. You don't have to use acetone. I'll wipe that off. All right, and there is that stamped chrome. Like I said, it is no wipe. Beautiful focus. Such a pretty chrome. And I mean, it's just chrome. Like there's plenty of silver, really pretty silver stamping polish and polish. Or you can use, uh, since this is a no wipe, you absolutely can use powder over this. But you really don't need to with this. It's so pretty. And I'll never get a picture that works because of the shine on it. Okay, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, so please be sure and go check out Madam Glam and this super cool chrome. Love this. And I will do some more artwork in another video here coming up this week with this. Show you different ways to use it. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye. All right, watch out, chickens. Because here comes the frisbee dog. Ready? Ready? <laughs> boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. <laughs> Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo!